Are you ready? It's time to start section four of our oh so delightful so happy quilt. Hey everyone, Kristen Som here and we have finished sections one, two, and three of our oh so delightful so happy quilt. That means that we are going to start on section four. And did you know that's the last section? Oh my gosh, we're so close. We're doing great. So today I was going to have my, my oldest grandson be my helper today, uh, but it didn't work out because they had so many activities today that they got home too late and then went straight to bed. So I missed out on my chance to have Aiden join me, hopefully on maybe another video, but it might not happen. Maybe red, white, and bloom because um, where I'm going off from oh so delightful to red, white, and bloom, I'm trading off each day. So, so today is oh so delightful. So I'm thinking that we can do two today. I'm not absolutely certain because I have very limited time because I'm spending time with my grandkids in California, but I figured we'll try it. And if you look at the packets, that's how you can always tell that there's very little to them. There's more of this one, but very little, almost nothing of this one. So they will be quick projects today. That's how we know that we might be able to fit in more. So let's talk about what we're gonna work on today. So I wanna tell you um, one thing is, excuse the noise if you hear kids screaming or even my um, son-in-law has a very, very loud movie on right now. So excuse all of the background noise, um, but I'm, in my little huddle here trying to um, finish this video up for you. So we're going to work on the first one is life is so good. Life is so good. And that is on page 25. So grab that packet if you made your packets. All right. Page 25. Life is so good. And you can see that there's almost nothing in here. And I think it's very similar to the cross stitch hearts that we did yesterday day before yesterday very recently um so yeah as i can see already from the packet stuff it's very similar so let's go ahead and go over what we need for those so the first one this life is so good we're going to start with this green um, star flower fabric and we are going to have this at six and a half by six and a half make sure to back it with fusible stabilizer six and a half by six and a half for your main fabric and like i said it's this green star um, star flower fabric. I'm not sure what it's called, but that's our main fabric, six and a half by six and a half. And then we have the hooped fabric, just like when we did that cross stitch heart. All right. So on this one, don't forget just a quick reminder to check because look, the, the fabric side and the stabilizer side are very, very similar. So make sure to check. You can tell that the weave, there's more of a weave on the stabilizer and the fabric is a little bit more peachy versus tan on the stabilizer side. Can you see that? So you want, obviously when we put it down on our hoop, we want the fabric side up. Okay. So the hooped fabric, this is our one applique piece, and we're going to start with this at four by four, four by four for our one applique piece. How easy is that? So cool. All right. And then we have our batting. Our batting is going to be five by five. So that means our final cut size will be four and a half by four and a half. I always do the batting at least a half inch larger. It can be however large you want it to be as long as it's a half inch larger so that it will tack down when we when we go through those quilting steps. So five by five on your batting, and we are going to quilt this using hearts five in a four by four design, hearts five in four by four. All right, so that's all, that's all for that one. That is so easy. So I'm gonna put these back in my packet so I don't lose anything. And then if you have time to join me on another one, this is another quick and easy one. And we're getting so close to the finish line. So keep in mind too, that if you joined me for both of those cross stitch hearts, you had one for section three and another one for section four. So that's another piece toward our section four. So we're really, really close to done with section four and we're just starting it today. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> All right. And like I said, these two are super easy. So if you have time to do both, great. If not, don't worry. I'm actually driving to San Francisco tomorrow. All day tomorrow, I'll be in the car. 
um, six hours to go see my youngest grandson. So, and then we're going to come back and have a day with the grandkids and then we leave for the nine hour drive to Idaho. So I've got a lot of driving time, a lot of time with the grandkids, so very limited time. So you have time to catch up. So don't stress over, oh no, we have to hurry up before the next video. You've got time. Plus keep in mind, I'm working on Red, White and Bloom and Oh So Delightful. So if you're not working on both of those, then you're getting a break at least every other day while I work on the other quilt. So don't stress about keeping up. You will do fine. All right, so let's go to page 26 now for the dress form. Page 26, and we'll do that block as well. And like I said, you could do it today, you could do it tomorrow, you have time, don't worry. Um, so dress form, we are going to start with this. Um, it's a silky solid, it's a solid yellow golden fabric, all right? And we're gonna start with this one at six and a half by 10 and a half. So it's a really big piece of fabric. So make sure to back this with fusible stabilizer, six and a half by 10 and a half for our main fabric, okay? And then we have just two applique pieces. So one of them is actually our flexifoam. That's what we'll use first for our dress form. So on our flexifoam, we're gonna have this at three by five. Flexifoam is three by five. And this we'll use first before we use our actual applique piece. And our actual applique piece, this will be so pretty on that dress form, I love this. So this is those blue green flowers on a navy background. And this one, probably three by five, yep, three by five, just like the flexifoam, three by five for the dress form applique fabric, all right? And I did back mine with fusible stabilizer, that's totally up to you. I think it gives it a little bit more stability and when it's going over that flexifoam, you don't want the edges fraying, you don't want it feeling too pulled and having it stabilized will help with that. That's my little tip. All right, so three by five on your dress form applique fabric. And then we always have our batting. So our batting today is gonna to be five by nine, five by nine for the dress form um, batting. And we are going to quilt this with, let's see, Geometric 7. Geometric 7 in a 4x8 design. 4x8 Geometric 7. And like most of these blocks, I think all of them so far, we are going to have this centered. So I'm actually not going to use um, embroidery software today for the two blocks. You absolutely can. I'm keeping it simple since I'm at my daughter's house and I don't have all of my supplies. I do have Embrilliance on my little laptop computer, um, but... I don't have my little video camera and just not all the supplies. So it's up to you. You could put, so there's, think about the quilting design. So one of them was four by four and this one is four by eight. So that would mean that you need at least a nine by nine hoop to make that fit. You kind of could make it fit in an eight by 12 if you take out those steps. Cause think about the four by four quilting design and the four by eight quilting design aren't really four inches wide. It's four and a half, okay? So you would have to take out, to make it fit in an eight by 12 hoop, you'd have to take out those steps three and four. So you could do that. You could make it work for sure. To me, it's too close because not only do you have that extra um, for the, um, quilting but you also have extra fabric so they will overlap and too much if it's too much then I find it stressful so if you have a 9 by 9 hoop or a 9 by 14 hoop or a 10 by 10 hoop you could fit these both in one hooping very simply that would not be a problem at all so totally up to you if you decide to do that I'm gonna do them separately I'm gonna do one um, the the 4 by 4 uh, so what was it life is so good I think that's what it was called Life is so good. I'm going to do that one and then I'm going to do the dress form. So I'm going to do them separately. And I'm also not using Embrilliance um, to join the quilting design and the embroidery design. If you saw yesterday's tutorial, um, actually that was for red, white, and bloom. So if you're doing that quilt with me, I'm showing how to do it on, and I've done it on some of the oh so delightful ones too. I'm showing how to do it on the machine too. So you have that option. You have the option of using embroidery software, which in my opinion is great because it's on a big screen on your laptop or your home computer, or whatever. Um, that makes it really easy for me in my opinion, but you can do these. Most of these things you can also do on your embroidery machine. So I'm showing how to do that as well. You're just adding 
adding, you start with your quilting design, then you add in the embroidery design, you make sure both of them are centered and you're good to go. So you have that option. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to keep it very simple. So I am going to work on both blocks. Um, I'm not sure if I'll get the tutorial out right away because like I said in the morning we're going to San Francisco. Um, but I am I'm working on it and keeping up and hopefully you're keeping up as well. And you have time though. Don't stress over it. So this one does have the dress form does have some special cut instructions kind of. Um, just because we're going to use two of the pop rulers and that's very easy to do. I've shown how to do that. No problem whatsoever. Um, both designs are centered in the hoop. Everything will be good. So let's go ahead and get started.
shirt today. You may not have seen this one. I've had it for years, but I don't wear it all that often. This one says someone special thinks someone special calls me grandma. And I've added rhinestone hearts that I made um, using rhinestones, obviously. And um heat transfer paper i think it was i don't remember and i did some fussy cutting there is a pink bicycle inside of one of these this is a fun design i don't recall off the top of my head who it's from but i will find it uh, hopefully i'll find it um and if i can i will add information i kind of tend to think it's either lenny penny have you heard of lenny penny um there's another one this is such an old design so anyway i will look and see if i can remember who i got it from oh and i should also say that the shirt is from amazon it's one of my favorites i love this one and um the other one that has the kangaroo pocket this one doesn't have a kangaroo pocket but it comes in several different colors um and it's just a great shirt to embroider on and it fits really well it's got a little hood i will add a link from amazon um, if you decide you want to embroider on a shirt so how are you doing with your goal? Uh, mine is to find joy, right? Good vibes. That's my big goal for Oh So Delightful. Oh my God. <laughs> You're going to love the pictures of how we find, found joy today. My daughter set up at a trip to a petting farm in an alpaca farm. Alpacas. Oh my gosh. If you know me, I'm like crazy about animals. I love all animals love 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 them alpacas oh my gosh i can't tell you how bad i wanted to bring this one home coco bean was her name i believe it was coco bean oh my god i loved her like you can't imagine i just loved her and she stayed by my side and she even laid down and and just stayed next to me oh my gosh i loved her <laughs> I want this alpaca. I want my own alpaca. I really do. Oh my gosh. So cute. So that was definitely a, a fun way to have good vibes and find joy. My daughter set that up for us. It was just um, me and um, our family, just our family. So all six of the grandkids of her side of the family, six grandkids, all of us got to enjoy this and took lots of pictures. And oh boy, that was fun. So much fun. So what did you do today that had you find joy? Well, what's the name of that one? This is Vera. Vera. Calavera. Calavera. Oh, she's so cute. Oh my God. What is it? And much this one's animals. grandma's favorite. Oh my gosh, I love yeah. her. Yeah. Her is expensive. Yeah. I love what her. What keeps it valuable You're so is if you pretty. notice when you're touching these guys, you don't you're get so any oils pretty. on your hands. Oh. So sheep wool 